just to give you a very honest um, account of some of the opportunities and challenges that, that remain enormous for us as a business um, and perhaps things that will either act as a catalyst or act as a blocker to the green revolution that, that we mentioned. Um, the first is collaboration and integration. Having, having made very small strides since we began, we, we do have the benefit of being in a few countries. And I have to say that UK farming is the most uncollaborative market we have by miles. So everyone says it's collaborative, but it's not, because you have these data silos stuck in publicly funded institutions. You have oligopolistic businesses that don't share data or block you if you work with their, their competitors. It's pathetic. Um, and the farmer suffers. Um, regulatory risk and opportunity. So if any of my investors ask me, you know, that all I want to talk about is the algorithms and the science and stuff, but in reality, reg regulation, both in terms of a risk and an opportunity, will either transform or kill our business overnight. So for example, we've done 20,000 flights in the last 12 months using drones on UK farmland. We've never had a safety, safety incident. The fact that farmers can't use driverless robotic systems or um, unmanned aerial, aerial vehicles, there's no public safety risk. And it would eliminate 90% of the costs of so much of the technology um, that's available now. Usability, return on investment and trust. There's a, there's a lot of burnt ground for technology. So you know, the, the biggest challenge for us is trying to persuade a farmer that a mistake we made two years ago won't happen again or a mistake that some idiot made five years ago when they were selling them a soil map won't happen again um, and and you've also got to make it usable so we um, we're trying this 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 algorithm where you hover your mouse over your field on a Google map image and we already know what crop it is and what growth stage and what was in it the year before it means that we don't even have to ask for your data before we onboard you as a customer. So we're moving towards a world where seamlessly it's, it, it stops becoming the sort of farmer giving all your data up and then some, someone selling it behind the scenes. Um, and the final point is machine learning. So we are, we are a real artificial intelligence business and as such we, we can afford to be honest about it, which is that it's seriously difficult and it requires huge data sets and quality data sets to make it work. The challenge is, it's very easy to collect data sets on when you're breeding, breeding plants. It's very hard to collect data sets in a windy field in Lincolnshire when you're trying to measure yellow rust incidents, for example. Um, so it is a work in progress, a lot of it, and it needs support and more collaboration.